Oh boy, it's the front page of Reddit. Yippee. All right, so. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. This is Crusader King. And today, I'm here playing the John Parker 117 demo mod, which is actually on the Steam front page. So that's pretty cool. And in congratulations to my to, my, to the big man, John, over here, I'm going to be playing his mod. Or at least the, the mod that some of his <laughs> that some of his uh, fans actually decided to make. However, whilst I can play John and, you know, go unlimited power, I'm going to be instead playing the People's Corporated States of America, being led by Supreme Chairman Freddy Frederick F Fazbear. Anyway, we're being led by our greatest, the greatest American that ever existed, Freddy Fazbear. And now we will begin our conquest. So, as Freddy Fazbear, we start off in the Detroit Pact. Why ever? Why do we have Hell, aka Detroit? I don't really know. <laughs> Sadly, uh, our, our base of operations here is Chicago. And another problem is that uh, we don't actually own. We don't actually own Detroit. Instead, Detroit is owned by the... Um, by the by the corporated industrial zone of america which gets me kind of riled up how can we be called the detroit pact if we ourselves do not own detroit so what we're going to be doing is essentially we're going to be trying to conquer all of america unite it and get rid of the emperor john parker 117 hopefully we can do it without any big chaos occurring and um the united kingdom is here that's pretty cool. Anyway, so we start off with 14 divisions. We also start off with The Rock and Flupa Gaming. So we're pretty menacing, needless to say. We're going to get The Rock and we're going to begin training. And the first person that we are going to go up against is Cleveland. With the Kingdom of Ohio being led by Patronica. I think it's really only a matter of time before Patronica perishes. And sadly, whilst they do have better boosts than we do... We have a lot more men on our side. So let's begin political power and let's get some of that nice political power. We also have plenty of puppets of which we can just take so, so many divisions from. I mean, look at all these tasty divisions. Mmm, quite delicious. Yeah, these guys are um, quite numerous. We have the People's Commonwealth of Ontario. Then we have Quebec or New France, as this game would like to call it. I would like to call it Hell Incarnated. Except, sadly, that name of hell has already been taken. We have the Protectorate of New England, which... I mean, it's alright! And now we have the People's Corporate Industrial Zone. We also start off with five factories. We're very overpowered, as you can say, as you can tell. Um, we have quite a lot of stuff to work on here. Like I said, I'm going to hand off development mainly of other factories to my puppets because we are going to need to lower their autonomy. Right now, all of them are just simply puppets, but I would like to have some to be integrated colonies, such as uh, the People's Corporated Industrial Zone of America. We have John News. No, thank you. I only listen to Freddy Fazbear News Incorporated because that's the true unbiased source to this world anyway i'm gonna need to declare war on this man pretty 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 soon sadly we are running out of some stuff so let's start getting some help from offshore places we're gonna be waiting and we're gonna be getting a lot of people to be trained we are using a lot of our puppets people but hey fnaf fans the american guard and hog riders are well in the we're well on their way to taking over ohio uh, I can promote one of my generals. I'm going to promote Flupa Gaming. Flupa Gaming, no, he is a gamer. He has committed several war crimes against the American people. I'm sure he knows how to lead a, how to lead an army. He knows how to game, so he definitely knows how to lead one for sure. And if he doesn't, well, he's going to learn. I'm going to take out the southeastern, the southern threat eventually. But for right now, we are just going to be waiting on annexing a lot of our pals and also North Dakota Kaiserreich. You're not a German monarch. You live in North Dakota, chief. But don't worry. I'm about to be the true Kaiserreich by eliminating him in real life. And um, also just like that, we've taken over Cleveland. We have the capital of Ohio hostage and Ohio is no more. So I'm just gonna pop it, Ohio. Uh, yeah, I'm not touching. I'm not touching Ohio. I'm going to get resource rights real quick. Just demand some war reparations. There we go. And there you go. 
We now have the Ohioan Anarcho Commune, led by Dark Matter. What is Dark Matter? I really have no clue, but apparently they give daily support to the non-aligned. So yeah, they're just a thing now. Oh well, time to start annexing the industrial zone of America. Now that we don't have any real threat to contend with, might as well start that. And they gave, they have one extra force. So I'm gonna take that for myself. Poland is kind of going against itself. The Italian socialist fight might be fighting the Republicans. So um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna see much of a democratic Spain. It does seem that, uh, I'm sorry, Spain is in a civil war. Italy's in a civil war. Poland's in a civil war. Really, who isn't in a civil war? Oh, well, guess who's next? It's Thundercross Latvia. They're also in a civil war. Just as I was, uh, just as I said it, they just decided to break away. Hopefully, Mr. Stalin doesn't get into a civil war. I, I wouldn't like that very much. Regardless, we are starting to build up, and the chaotic tensions are starting to build up as well. One of the main problems I have with this is that there really should be a form of, like, modifier where we can't join factions until all of America is united. That's just a suggestion because it does happen sometimes. But, hey, I, I kind of understand why they wouldn't do it as well. Regardless, we can finally integrate our American lands and all it'll take is 50 days. Alrighty, we're gonna go just straight to get straight to Bismarck. And the reason we are keeping Ontario and Ontario is so that way they can just put troops on the border, leaving this border a lot more weaker to be fighting in. Sadly, our troops are dying, which is the issue. I don't want them to die. But looks like the war justification is ready, so uh forty-six thousand to something thousand. And yeah, the Commonwealth of Ontario is preparing for something that will never happen. So uh, I I sure do hope nothing does indeed happen. But for the next battles that we're going to take, I don't really think we can really do much. Because these guys are likely to join. These guys are likely to join the allies, which kind of sucks. But hey, we'll just have to see, you know. We are so close. The faded Bismarck. I, I, I need to take it over. I need to destroy the North Dakotans' legacy. The North Dakotans' ideas. Oh. We didn't even need it. Okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna just take over a significant amount of land. I'll be taking over Dakota there, buddy. You know what? I'll just take over everything. <laughs> Why not? You know, it's just, it's just so fitting. So, yeah. We got rid of these guys. And now, these, uh, we, we're gonna do the Meth Empire. So I'm going to unite with Canada, and now I can take down either Ohio or I can fight the People's Corporated States of America. Declares war on the patriotic states. <laughs> this is going to probably end up them with them being guaranteed, but hey, you never know, you know. Oh, this, <laughs> this cat also got logistics. He's truly a gamer now. Oh. Oh my. Well, the war's kicked off, and I don't really think we're going to have a lot of good times here, but it does seem that... Why, why did some of my troops just... Why did some of my troops just leave? That's quite rude, isn't it, Matt? That's quite rude of my troops to just leave like that, but... Oh. Oh, wait, never mind, because we had, we had more. Yeah, I just annexed Canada. Canada is now mine, and now I'm just a massive corporate, corporate state. A massive communist corporate state of America. Truly, what the world would have been if only Mr. Freddy Fazbear ruled over it. Yeah, no, it's gradual. They're about to fall. So, we're gonna get our our airplanes to uh, to basically finish it off. I really should have been, should have been using this a long time ago, so that way I could have gotten air superiority. There we go. So, I'm gonna be taking all of the oil-rich countries, I mean, all of the oil-rich states, and the rest... Well, the re oh wait, whoa, <laughs> whoa there, buddy, whoa there, oh right, hello there. I'm gonna be taking that real quick. I'm gonna just take over that state, and I can satellite Puerto Rico. I'm gonna be satelliting Puerto Rico, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna puppet the rest. There we go. Lucas is part of the Taino Republic. Okay, this is the first time I've seen Puerto Rico's um, Puerto Rico be like this this is actually a really cool taino republic it sounds so sick okay yeah we're just gonna march in on these guys no worries no worries pal we're um we're not doing too good 
I wonder why. Oh, what? Nope, nope, never mind. We've pushed in. We've pushed in. We are pushing in pretty good. And there's that one division. That one brave division is now <laughs> who staved off our, our, our advance for two minutes. Has now been... It is no more, man. It, it ain't gonna live. All right, well, you know the joke. Let's pop at them. There you go. There they are. Let's get the war operations and resource rights. There we go. There we go. The United Commune of New Mexico. Yes. Now all people will equally share methamphetamine and blue crisp on blue sky. We're gonna send all these boys over to Mexico, and we're just gonna bomb Mexico. Get 28... Uh, tactical bombers. We'll, we'll get these guys over here. Alright, there we go. The battle is ready, and let's just declare war. The Dominican Republic is a thing that we might need to fight, but not right now. Yeah, look, we can, we can invade Mexico. Do we need to, do we need to capitulate the Dominican Republic? Please don't tell me that we do. Uh, no, we just have to capitulate Mexico. Perfect. Yeah, and looking as to how effective that's going, I don't really think we're going to be able to... I don't think we're going to need to fight the Dominican Republic. Look, I'm just going to make these guys run down and try and quickly capture as much as they can. Ask for military access. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, maybe I can do an Order 66. Hold on, hold on. Will they like me into their faction? They will not. Okay. I can get a non-aggression pact with them. I'm going to do that right now because I think that's probably the best course of action. I'll, I'm going to send troops over there. So once I declare war on the Engineer Republic, Order 66 will come out. And hopefully that should be powerful enough to get rid of them. We have gotten a lot more puppets. We've got the Dominican People's Republic with a way cooler star. We have these guys. Uh, and we finally have Paraguay, and Paraguay is being led by Rafael Franco, who is a meme, I guess, in this timeline. Anyway, we've got 26 divisions, and all of those divisions I'm going to be taking to Britain because of Order 66. So all of them, onwards, my friends, to Brittany. All right, hopefully this works. Yes, even though we had a non-aggression pact, it didn't work, and it does seem that order 66 did indeed work so our goal here is to secure everything essentially we're supposed to secure some dockyards there we go let's just let's just get over here we're gonna need all the troops over here yeah this is excellent actually because we control most of the things here so we can get some pretty stable ground over here and uh, we'll see how well this goes and I don't have player-led peace conferences on, so we're going to get a lot of border gore. Oh, well. Yeah, no, we've conquered Liverpool. Let me get Liverpool real quick. So, yeah, Germany just took over quite a lot of people. And, oh, and uh, and Italy, Mr. Salami won the Civil War. So, that's, that's great. He now, I guess, just has a different flag because they got rid of the original one. Yippee. All they do is reinforce fascist influence there. Okay, cool. Uh, first things first, don't care about anybody else except the Engineer Republic. I'm going to take them over. And if I can, I'm going to puppet Britain in these areas. All right, I'm just going to confirm an exit. I do not give a fuck about who gets what. But I did end up getting the Commonwealth of Alba and Socialist Republic of Great Britain. So I did end up getting some stuff out of it. I also got the Engineer Republic, which was great. also got Hong Kong. Got plenty of puppets in the in the war goal here in the in the peace deal here. Anyway, I think it's about darn time we fight John. John's been alive for just a bit too long, so uh, yeah. Oh, we also ended up getting Ceylon. <laughs> the British Raj still exists. We have the Indian People's Republic, another Indian People's Republic, Free India. Wow, this is just border gore reimagined. I love it. There we go. There it is. Declare war. Yes. Yes. Excellent. They called in their little puppet, which is nice. I'm going to declare war on these guys because they are fascist. Hopefully they don't join anything. And we're also just going to straight up go to John Land. John Land will be captured by Freddy's forces. And we will finally see what happens. We've secured our puppets over here. We've secured a nice foothold in America. Look at all of that. Oh, they're gone. 
All right, anyway, time to steal their navy. <laughs> there we go. We're going to puppet these guys. I puppeted those lads. Okay. So real quick, I'm going to be just taking this land. I don't care about any of that. So puppet. There we are. Excellent. Yes, the fish republic. The socialist fish republic has risen up. And now we have John Parker in the people's kingdom of America. But sadly, John is simply but a subject to the greater empire. He might be a kingdom, but I am an empire. A few moments later. Yes, finally. All right, well, I'm just gonna puppet that. There you go, <laughs> don't care. Yep, the, the People's Republic of New China under Zhang Xina is now done, and there you go. We have secured all of Northern America some parts in Europe and even uh even some parts in the Caribbean so yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching uh thanks to the developers that made this for John I know I'm included in this mod but I don't want to play John I didn't play John instead I destroyed him he's working under me now yeah there you go Freddy fast brunk Freddy fast brunkle over here he's one anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you did enjoy this please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already uh, at 1984, I will play the game. I will play the mod 1984, so just know that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye.